But there are other, many other things you see when you look up in the sky. And one thing you often see is the setting sun. When the sun sets, what color is it? Orange, that's right. And I actually can illustrate that. I don't have the sun here, but I do have an overhead projector that has a nice bright white light inside. And the light is coming through a little hole here. And it's going through a beaker of water. And then it's being projected up on the screen. So you can all see that. And so imagine that's the sun. And why am I going through the water? Because this is a little like the sunlight going through the atmosphere of the Earth. So instead of air, we're using water. And that way, we can uh, make all this happen in a very small space here. So you notice, when you look at the water here, it's quite uh, transparent. You don't see much in there. You can see right through it. But uh, we can actually make it visible if one puts a little bit of something in it, like skim milk. So I'm going to put just a tiny bit of skim milk in there and then stir it so that it mixes. And you will see not much has happened up there yet. But if you look down here, you see that the water has turned noticeably blue. And that's why the sky is blue. When you look up overhead and the sun is over there somewhere, the sky looks quite blue. And that's because the, the white light going through the atmosphere, the blue part is scattered out by the, the nitrogen and the things that are in the air. And so you see a kind of a bluish glow. Now, of course, if the blue is being scattered out, that means the light that's going through is deficient in blue. And hence, it ought to be a little bit reddish. You don't notice it so much anymore. But let me put a little bit more in. In fact, let me put a lot more in. And then let you look. And I think with the lights off, you can see, indeed, it has turned noticeably orange. And so let me put even a little bit more and see if this reminds you a little bit of the setting sun. Now, of course, if it gets too dark, you won't see anything at all. But um, I hope you see that it has turned a little bit reddish. And that's because we're scattering out most of the blue light here, and we're left only with the red light. OK. <laughs>